The MG ZST with more tech, more safety with 360 degree camera and more peace of mind from 25490 drive away. The award winning MG ZST, it's the more you've been looking for. On air, online and on your smart speaker. You need tools? We've got tools. Total Tools to Wamba. Every tool, every trade. Hit News Briefing. Good morning, I'm Sasha Barbagat. David Van is facing expulsion from the Victorian Liberal Party as the branch meets today to consider his future in politics. The Senator has had two public allegations of sexual harassment and assault levelled against him, while Peter Dutton claims a third person has come forward privately. Senator Van maintains his innocence and says he won't be commenting further until investigations are carried out. A 13-year-old boy has died on the New South Wales south coast after crashing an e-bike into a fence. Paramedics were called to the scene at Albion Park just before 7 last night. He was rushed to hospital in a critical condition but passed away a short time later. An investigation is now underway. The federal government's $2 billion social housing accelerator plan is being welcomed as a positive step towards addressing the country's housing crisis. Property Council boss Mike Zorbas says our political leaders are genuine about trying to improve the production of housing. We do need state and federal governments to get very serious about planning reform, about housing production, but in particular about housing our vulnerable, and that is uh, one of the aspects of this housing fund. Briefly, Spotify has dropped Meghan Markle's podcast Archetypes, but the Duchess's people say they'll continue with the show on a different platform. And it seems we're falling out of love with rom-coms. A global survey of movie and TV streamers has found the genre is declining in popularity. Drama is the number one pick in Australia. Animation's a close second. <laughs> have gone down to the Cowboys in a Golden Point thriller in Townsville, helping keep North Queensland in the fight for the finals. Coach Ivan Cleary says they were in the position to win it. We just offered up opportunities um, and then just weren't resilient enough tonight. I didn't think defensively. That's not really what we're about. I was disappointed with that. And Australia is none for 14 at the end of the opening day of the first Ashes after England declared on 8 for 393. Joe Root posting a brilliant unbeaten innings of 118 from 152 balls. Feels every From a toolbox to an excavator, see excavation Just equipment to Umba and now at Black Soil. This Hi, is Sam. hit Just weather. A cold start to the weekend in the Garden City. Just 5 degrees this morning, building up to 18. It will be nice and sunny all day, though, until we get down to 6 overnight and more sunshine on the way tomorrow. And for the best sporting podcasts from Australia and around the world, lift your game with Listener. 